and welcome to episode 27, week 47. This is a big week, a big day, because we're going to install the 4 metre bipod doors. On the last video, I showed you putting together this, the frame, which is all fine and that worked out well in the end after a bit of um, rejigging and rejigging it. But now it's time to put a sill in and fix this frame into the opening um, and then hang the doors. Right, so first of all, let's go through what I did around the sill. So, what I've done and marked on the floor, I've just gone through anywhere there's a bolt on the outside or a screw, I've put a red line just to make sure I don't go into those when I fix the seal down into the boring. So that's the an off cut of the seal, so that's gonna go there. And what I don't want to do is hit a screw. So I've just marked a red line to say those are the screws. I've done it all the way along. Then I've marked a green line starting 10 in every 600 for the seal and marked it with a C. Next to it, I've marked an F because that's where I'm going to screw through the frame, into the frame into the floor. What I've also done is just underneath this floor are the floor joists, okay? And I want to make sure that when I screw through the sill and the frame, I'm screwing into the wood underneath and not just through the flooring into the insulation. So I've just lined up two bits of timber there and then I know that that is the middle of the timber that's underneath and I'll, my silt will be going through into the middle of the timber. If I had it too far in it would go through and miss the timber or if I had it here it might go through into the crack which I don't really want. So I've marked where that is and then I know I want my silt to line up here. Uh, what else? Oh yeah. So then, the next part is around making sure this is all level. And for those of you who watch um, Oakwood Garden Rooms, you'll see this is exactly what Liam does in Oakwood Garden Rooms. So thanks Liam for this. Um, I've basically watched your video about 50 times and I've done exactly the same on here. So I'll take you through it. What, what it is. So basically, I've got my laser set over there. Everywhere I've marked where I'm going to attach the seal, I stand up my. Let's do on this one, and you can see. Come that I do it, can you just see the line on there? So I've marked where I'm going to attach the seal. And I can see that that is 115 millimeters. And also, just to make sure you haven't got it on an angle, if you rock it backwards and forwards, you can see the lowest point it goes to is when this is standing upright. So that is 115. And then I went along and marked everywhere what the measurement was. So that was 170. So then I know I need to put a two mil packer on there. So that is 115 again. That one was 117. So again, a two mil packer. This one is 115, so no packer needed. That was 116, so a one mil packer. And then it's again 115. And it, the biggest difference was 118. So actually over the four meter span, there was only a three mil difference, which is pretty good considering it's, you know, first time I built that room. So it's three milled out. But now on the floor, I've got all the fixing points exactly level to the millimetre. All these red lines on the side here, what I've done is again, marked where there are any screws. Because what I don't want to do is when I'm fixing the frame, go into a screw. So I've marked with the red line anywhere there's a, a screw. And the reason there's so many red lines is because this post is made up of four timbers. 
So that timber has a screw there. Goes into that timber, there's screws here going to that timber. So that's why they're so many good loads. Then I've marked 10 from the top, 10 from the bottom, and then 600. So they're my green ones are my fixing points. One, two, three, four fixing points on the side. I've marked at the top all the fixing points. So now it's just a case of running, filling this up with silicon, running silicon down here, and then fixing the seal. Oh yeah, one point to note, when the seal goes in, so I'm, I'm lining mine up with this pencil line here because I want the, my thermal break to be right over the middle of the timber that's underneath here. I've gone for the standard overhang here because I'm not putting any cladding on this bottom part. My, 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 what I'm going to have is decking under here. So they'll be decking right up to this level. So I don't need a longer overhang here. The cedar on the edge, there'll be a reveal here. Cedar cladding out to about here and it will just run down there. But underneath here is going to be decking. If you've got cedar underneath, then you need to get the wider still so it will tip over. Um, oh yeah, one important point to know. Let's go this way down to that corner. Here, so this is the bottom inside so when we stand this up it's going to go that way so the frame is actually going to be here originally i thought it was that way around so you sit the frame into that lip but actually are you in closer like that if you if you stand the frame there that thermal break in the sill is not going to line up with the thermal break in the window, in the frame. So, actually, it, should, it has to go like this. So the frame actually sits on the outside of the sill, not this way around. It sits like that. And then the thermal brakes line up. If it's that way around, the thermal brakes are off, and when you screw through that thermal brake, you're actually going to be hitting this aluminium part of the sill. So make sure it's that way around. Then the thermal brakes line up. Right, next part is, again, from open garden rooms, is to this end here. You've got the end node there. So this is the sill. So the window frame sits here. This end cap goes on there, but this seal here has in it somewhere yeah, these weep holes. So any water that goes down here runs through the frame. The bottom of the frame has holes in it as well. Any water that runs down here goes out the bottom of there and out the bottom of Here, out the bottom there. So this still is actually designed to capture the water, the water goes through there and run out the bottom. But what you don't want it doing is running out of here. So what you need to do Get your silicone gun and actually fill up the whole of this. So that no water can come out. So you're basically creating like a, a seal on the end here. So any water that's inside isn't gonna try and come out the end here. Make sure it's full up. Okay. 
Okay. That should do. You get your own cut. on the end and then any silicone that comes out. Just give it a wipe off. With a cleaning cloth, right. So now next step is fitting this seal. So I'm gonna fit the seal with these. These are 100 mil screws. They're going to go through the thermal break into those points where I've got the packets. Right, so next thing. Right, so I've just marked an eye here where I want the seal to go. Done the same at that end. I push back. All the packers, and now we're just going to fill this up with silicon just in case anything trickle comes down the edge. And then the silk can sit on there, and then just running a thick bead down here. Actually, I'm going to go a bit further here. Okay, that's good. So, I just want this to sit on a big bead of silicon. Also, one, I did, one other thing I did was I varnished this edge, this front edge and along these joins, just so any more that does get in here can't eat into this and destroy the edge of that chipboard. This tube, I need another tube.
this end up with as well. Right, what I'll do as well is, when I, once the seal's in, I'll fill up the edge again. Right, oh, let's finish this up. Okay, so now I'm going to lay my packets just to its side. Of the seal, where I'm going to fix through. No packer there, no packer there. Oh, packer here. Silicon. Where's that off car? Right, I'm just going to check again. Oh, happy. Where that silicon is. That's going to go there. That silicon is actually going to bend under there. So, what I want to do is run another bead. just along the front because otherwise it's just going to disappear like that. Now it's time to fix this seal in place. Hope it works. You need to do it. Things work. Hopefully. What happens to you? Okay, 
זה עוד שכבתך שמרים. ותיכון הדור הזה. Turn on here. Let's just check the other end here. No. That's far off the line. That's why it's good to check both ends. in line with where I want it. Let's fix this one. Okay. Always check there. Yeah. Always check. Otherwise that would have been a whole window in quite an expensive window in one key. which is silicon over the holes. So, silicon over these screws. You 
because I know it's not English. These holes will go through to underneath to the floor. The weak holes the weak holes are in this front part, not in here, so you need to cover any holes you put through the thermal grip. Sits down properly. There, that is it. That's the ceiling. Next step is the frame, which will be coming up shortly, probably after lunch. See you then. Basically, put the frame on the edge so the back lines up with the back of that bit. Screw down into all the places where I have the F marks. And I've got the laser set up now to make sure it's. I need to make sure it's parallel this way. It's square, fly them up and down, and also in and out. So to do the in and out, take a pack up, put it against the edge, and mark a line on it. So you can see I've marked this pencil line where the laser is. And then you can just slide the laser up and down and make sure it's always on the line. So then I know that's dead square in and out. I've already done the same thing with the laser set on this edge to make sure it's square this way, backwards and forwards. So, once you've got it so it is up and down and you've checked it square and out, then just push some packers in, pack out the right distance. And then the same thing as we did on the bottom. Just need to screw through. Frame. Yeah. 
that one in. And then we'll just carry it all the way around. Every 600, do the same thing. But only once you're sure that it's square, both in and out, and left to right. Right. So we'll get this in. And then I think on the next video, hang the doors. Thanks for watching.